Hello, Naveed. My name is Brandon Tuck. I'm the Director of Admissions at the Drucker School at Claremont Graduate University. Uh, you have an excellent question on whether or not you should um, take the GMAT exam now or um, wait until you apply to business school. And I know a lot of students have this question, and I, I've heard it before. Um, I actually, uh, the first step I, I, I tell students is to actually make a timeline. When do you actually want to enroll in business school? So that, that's something that you need to decide. And, and that timeline is going to be important and it helps keep you on track. Uh, the second thing I would say is uh, look at the criteria and the GMAT ranges of the admitted students of the schools you want to apply to and, and get an idea of uh, what you need to score. And, and besides the GMAT exam, what are the things are they looking at from, for students? Um, the other thing I would say is to go to uh, mba.com and download the GMAT prep exam. Um, it has a lot of sample questions that you could do, but it also has two uh, practice exams. And these are important because it's going to tell you where you kind of stand. I know you haven't, um, a lot of you haven't cracked open a book, and, and maybe Naveed, you've been studying already for the GMAT exam. But um, this gives you a, a good example of where you are right now. Um, and when I tell people to take it, I tell them to turn off the cell phone, uh, lock themselves in a room, have no disturbances, so you can get the, clo uh, the test as similar to an actual testing center. Now, it won't be the same, but you want to have a similar environment. Um, the next thing I would say is, look, the GMAT, is a challenge. It's, it takes a lot of hours and studying and it's probably one of the longest parts uh, of an application is getting the GMAT score and preparing for the GMAT exam. Uh, the other one is recommendations. Now we're not talking about recommendations in this particular question but the GMAT and the recommendations are the two things that I would say work on right away get the recommenders that you want and send that out to them and then focus on the GMAT exam. Once you've completed the GMAT um, and you've gotten the score that you wanted then you can round out your application and complete it and that would be my suggestion. Not, not everybody has to do that but I think once you've completed the GMAT exam and you've gotten that weight lifted off your shoulders you'll be uh, relieved and able to put in the hours and time that you need to finish the application. Naveed and everyone else that was watching, I hope this helps and answers your question on whether or not you should take the GMAT exam now or finish your business application. My name is Brandon Tuck. I'm at the Drucker School and thank you.